done with breakfast. Um, we were craving for an omelette today, uh, so we had that for breakfast. Anyway, welcome to Christmas with the Peshaws, day four. It's really, really late in the evening right now. It's 11 p.m., but it's still vlog Vlogmas Day 4 or Christmas with the Patriots Day 4. Anyway, I just did a massive cleaning of the kitchen and I just want to say I really really love Mrs. Myers. Um, the basil one is my favorite but I want to try the lavender one but so far the basil one is my absolute favorite. Um, if you guys love Mrs. Myers too tell me what you guys use um, for the kitchen because we use all the hand not all the hand soaps but we've been using the hand soaps for a while but this is the first time I've tried um, something for the kitchen. This is the multi-surface everyday cleaner and I love it. Um, I also like Fabuloso from the dollar store, the purple one. Um, it was Ian's mom. It was my mother-in-law who taught me about Fabuloso and it's awesome. Like it cleans everything and it smells really, really great. But I think she said it's only the purple one that is great. But I do like the scent, so I am fine with that. But if I want to make the house smell extra fresh, I use the basil Mrs. Myers. So that's great. You know what, I just realized that I haven't really talked about a lot of makeup in the vlogs in Christmas with the Peshaws, and my channel is normally a lot of beauty things, so I decided to bring you guys to the office and show you my extra cabinet of makeup. Um, I, we don't have a lot of storage, so my makeup vanity is in the room. Everything that I use the most is over there, but everything else is over here, so I wanted to show you the shelf. Um, in this vlog. So over here on the top shelf is my Barbie car. Uh, one of my favorite toys when I was younger was a Barbie. I think it was a Ferrari that my mom got me. And um, I was super sad. Ian and I were both super sad when we found out Toys R Us was closing here in the States. So we got our favorite toys. This isn't exactly the same one, but I mean, you know, and it has the only at Toys R Us sticker. So I vlogged that as well, so I will link that down below. Over on this shelf, I have all of my perfumes as well as all of my Little Mermaid memorabilia or paraphernalia. Um, I have a lot more, but the ones that I really like, I put over here. If you guys didn't know, Mermaids and Little Little Mermaid is my favorite um, Disney character and she's my favorite mythical creature, just um, mermaids in itself. Anyway. Um, I have all of my perfumes over there. I'm just gonna point out some of my favorite ones to you guys. Um, my absolute favorite one is called Clean. This is my signature scent and I've used this since I was I think in college. And I have the one for men just because it's a bigger bottle and it smells the same. So the Clean perfume is my favorite. I think you guys can buy this in Sephora. Um, I usually buy mine in Judy Free. I also really like these ones. These are the Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana perfume in white. I don't like the black one. I've used, I think, two bottles of this already. And then another one of my favorite is the DNG number no. three. This was introduced to me by my friend Patrice. And I used to spray this all the time when we would go out and I'd be like, oh my gosh, can I have some? And then I eventually just bought my own bottle. Um, yeah, that is really, really good. I also, oh, this one is also one of my faves. This is from, I think you pronounce it Lan Van. I could be wrong, but I will put the name on the screen. The purple one is my favorite. It smells so, so good. Then I don't think I have it here, but I also really like uh, Joe Malone's Pear and Freesia perfume. Um, for some sprays, I just like the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This was introduced to me by Tina. Um, or I think I bought this in the States and then she also really loved it. This is the small one that I have. And from Bath and Body Works, my favorite is Sea Island Cotton. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry to blind you guys, but yeah, Sea Island Cotton is my favorite. All right, to the left is my Mermaid Ariel Preferenalia. Um, I also have some of my sample perfumes over here and also in this tiny jar. Anyway, these masks from Korea were given to me by my friend Diane 
and I think they're so cute. I told her I would never wear them. I would just always keep it. And then I have one, two, three cards from Ian. My favorite one is this one. This was um, the first card that he gave me when I visited him for the first time. It was the day that I was going to leave and he came back with some chocolates and also Sour Patch. No, it was Icebreaker Sours, which is my favorite, the apple one. And then he also gave me this card, which I super, super cherish. And that's my favorite one out of everything in this area. Um, this is also from Ian. I think that's a birthday card. I could be wrong. And then that one with this octopus. I'm going to open it for you guys. Just to show you the inside. He put a mermaid. We made our own cards for our anniversary this year. Um, and he put this one on my card, which I think is really, really creative. And... Um, he's an octopus, that's his favorite. So we would always refer to ourselves as the octopus and the mermaid through emojis. Um, what else? Oh, this mug reminds me of my childhood. This mug over here reminds me of my childhood. I think I remember my cousin um, having this mug and I saw this at a thrift shop here in um, the States and I had to buy it because it just really, really reminded me of my childhood, and that's where I put all of my other perfumes. This is like a very 90s thing. I also got a lip smacker. Never, never, ever gonna use this. This is for um, given. This was given to me by my friend Hazel. Never, ever gonna use this lip smacker. <laughs> and then I think I bought this from Watson's in the Philippines just because it had the Little Mermaid on it. Um, what else? Oh, and these mermaid ones, um, they're supposed to be like trinket holders, but I just got them from the dollar store and I just put them over there because they're mermaids. This one, oh, the light. The light is making it really, really awful. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off first. I just wanted to show you guys this drawing over there. That was hand drawn by my cousin Leanne. She's so talented. She also paints bags for her mom and stuff, but she's one of the artistic cousins. And she drew me that mermaid all the way from Japan and I brought it all the way here. And I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll also be putting a photo here in this video. Thank you, Leanne. And then on the third area, I have some of my extra palettes that I don't use as often, but I can still come here and grab it. And then I also have my nail polishes that I brought, and I don't think I bought anything from the States except for this one from the dollar store. And then these skulls, I really, really like skulls. So I got this from the dollar store. Got that from the dollar store as well as that one, and we displayed it for Halloween, but... Now that it's not Halloween, I put it here because they're really, really cute. Um, I got these storage things from the dollar store and I just put my palettes on them. So I have the JCAT Sunset Boulevard, which was gifted to me by Diane and Hazel um, as a going away gift. And then I also have the Santa Monica um, eyeshadow palette. If you guys want to see what this is, this is really pretty. So this is the Santa Monica palette by jcat beauty really really pretty um warm tone colors they're great um i also have the original morphe 350 um i got the mixed ones not the matte and the you know how they have a matte and a satin separately just got one palette because i have too much palettes and then over here I just have my two Morphe palettes this is the 25B I think it's like the mocha and the caramel one and this one is the 25A so that's that this one I got recently from Profusion this is the chocolates palette it has 21 eyeshadow shades and a blending brush and I have used this Profusion is actually a good brand. I should really do a full face tutorial with Profusion or just talk about the brand. Lastly, I have the Morphe 3502, which is like all oranges. I have no idea. It looks really, really beautiful, but 
I don't know. I feel like a lot of these browns I have, but I feel like when it's fall again, I'll fall back into it. Fall, fall back into it. But yeah, this is actually really beautiful as well. Over here, I just have some of my nail polishes. I got a bunch of this from the Philippines. These are some of my favorite ones from, uh, I think it's Minisol. I think they're two for 99 pesos. And then I also really like these um, water-based um, nail polishes. They're just peel off nail polishes. I have a bunch of them over here. And my favorite ones are from Sassy Collections. I really like nude colors. So Touch of Beige is one of my favorite ones. And also, nope, not that, that is nude. There's one that's my absolute favorite, this one, Coffee Brown. Like this is my number one favorite from Sassy. Um, nail polish in the Philippines. I think I brought like two um, when I moved here. And then the others are just gifts. Like these are just like normal everyday colors and like touch of touch of beige and um, yeah. And then I just have the uh, nail hardeners over here and I got some from Bobby from the Philippines. And then this one is really cute. This was a gift from my cousin Mindy. Um, this is like a neon yellow. I really like that color. All right. All right, now we get to this section right here which is the lipstick area. I just have everything in here and I can see it this way. Um, before they were in like Ziploc bags because I don't have anything to hold them up. But I'm just really afraid because I feel like this is a pretty sturdy shelf. But I feel like if an earthquake or something happens, this will just like fall right down and I have to organize it again. Anyway, I have a lot of my lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks over here. I have some from Jazzy France. I have a bunch from Everbelena. I also have a bunch from Caroline, um, Everbalena again, these tiny, tiny ones. Um, oh, this is Everbalena as well. Um, what else? I have a couple of sleek ones. Oh, I really like these ones. These are the sugar tint um, lip and cheek tint. I've never tried them as uh, cheek tints, but for lips, I actually really, really like these. Um, I have a bunch of the nude ones and I think one red one. I love the Kate Rimmel ones. Really like the Kate Rimmel ones. I think this one is, yeah, 107. I used to love this color. Um, detail makeover. I have a bunch of Revlon ones. And then I have a bunch of my Revlon Butter Lipsticks. This was gifted to me by Revlon um, back when I was starting off as a makeup artist. This was all gifted to me and some of them I repurchased again. Some of these, these ones are discontinued. That's why I just keep them for color reference. They're not, that, they're not good anymore, but I still um, color swatch it and compare it to other um, lipsticks. Over here I have the rest of the Revlon Lipsticks. And then up front, I just have the rest of my Maybelline ones, and this one is from CoverGirl, I think. Yeah, this is from CoverGirl. And then I have the rest of the Milani ones, uh, Jazzy France ones, Everbelena ones that I like, um, Happy Skin. I love the formula of these liquid lipsticks, and the um, Jordana one. I do like these, actually. Um, this one, I'm still on the fence about, but yeah. Down here, I just have the preview one. These are a lot of the bullet lipsticks, too. And then I have new ones from Everbelena. Oh, please don't fall. These are the new ones. These are the uh, Everbelena Matte Nude Lipsticks. I have it in Bellissima, and I also have it in Dolce. This is one of my favorite limited edition MAC lipsticks. This is the Villains Collection. So I just have um, the Evil Queen. Please don't fall. This lipstick is also one of my favorite ones too. When I was a guest makeup artist at MAC, um, they launched this collection and uh, Betty Bright is my favorite one. So this is a really, really old MAC plush glass. Um, this one is a nice buzz, but I will never, ever, ever let go of this because this was my very first MAC purchase. Um, I think we were in Hong Kong and I bought it and I was just so excited because I finally got a MAC lipstick. But yeah, that was the very first one and also the Lady Gaga lipstick. 
Okay, so over in this section, this is where all my extras come in. Um, I bought a lot of these things from the Philippines because I didn't want to run out of them. So just over in this section, I just have a powder that I got from Daiso, which is a nose contour. I got my Nichito Press Powder. I also have a um, Caroline Oil Control Face Powder. I think I wanted to do a full face one. Okay, over in the back section, I just have these things. I have the Nichito Final Powder, Maybelline Super BB Cushion and Natural. I have my Aqua Petite Jelly Bay Holica Holica. Some foundations that I really like, which is the Dream Satin and the ZA True White. We can't forget the Fashion 21 Double Up Mascara. Absolutely love that. I have some tools. Oh, and of course, you guys, you guys can see how addicted I am to this right here okay these were my favorite eyebrow pencils from mini saw um i hoarded them i bought like five each or something or maybe even six so i have the dark brown and the light brown this is the one in the pink and the green packaging i have my other mascaras over here and of course i bought a bunch of the maybelline hyper curl mascara which is a good everyday mascara over here i have my favorite blush which is Peachy Sweetie, I got like three backups of it because I love this blush so much. Um, it just makes me look extra fresh. I love it. I also have the Fresh Coral one and the Creamy Cinnamon one. And this is only 149 pesos, okay? 149 pesos. I love it. Um, and I got the Caroline one in, I think this is Starlight. I could be wrong. What color are you? Not too sure what color this is, but yeah, one of the Caroline ones. Lastly, over here, I just have travel stuff. So I have a spray thing. When I travel, I can put stuff there. I have my extra uh, features and shade sponge. This is their chiseled puff. Really, really like that. Um, it's a good product. Um, over here are some of the Revlon um, mascaras that I haven't opened yet. Um, yeah, and then over here are just some of my bite lipsticks that I didn't have any place for in the top section Lastly in this section. I just have lashes 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 bunch of lashes all the lashes in the world um, I also have some makeup cases in there. I have some tools. These are more like tooly stuff. So eyebrow um, shaver I have some extra eyeshadows as well. Um, over here are just the rest of the lippies that I couldn't categorize. But yeah, those are the ones that I use the least. Oh, I should actually take this out because this is new. Um, this is the Better Than Basic Kiss Stick in Vegay. Hey guys, so this is going to be the end for today's vlog. I know you guys haven't seen Ian today yet, but what have you been doing today, babe? Uh, Kingdom Hearts. I'm playing through the series again before the game comes out next month because it's been 12 or 13 years since Kingdom Hearts 2, so mm -hmm. gotta get back to the console versions. Yeah, I think I would like this game too because it's Disney integrated, but um, I don't know. I've never tried it before. Um, yeah, he also had work today and after work he did Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, so that's it for this vlog. I know it's a little bit different from the past vlogs that we've been doing. It's all like one same topic which is like my extra makeup in the room but um since you guys missed the makeup related stuff i figured i would show that to you guys in this vlog anyway we have a lot of other things that are coming up that's going to be ian and i together so if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up Ding! <laughs> and uh comment down below anyway we'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys bye <laughs>